Track 53. A. Ride a bike. B. Buy presents. C. Go sightseeing. D. Take photos. E. Stay at a hotel. F. Go camping. G. Lie on the beach. H. Do water sports. Track 54. How was your summer holiday, Lottie? It was brilliant, Callum. We went camping and stayed at a really nice campsite in France. We could walk to the beach in five minutes. My friend Annabelle came with us and we swam in the sea every day and rode our bikes. I didn't want to leave. Did you get up early every day? Of course not. We got up late and we went to bed late. We had a really good time. We lay on the beach and did lots of water sports too. Did you take any photos? Yes, I did. I took hundreds of them. Look, here's one. Wow, that's good. Thanks. My parents gave me a new phone before the holiday. It's got a great camera. What about you, Callum? How was your holiday? Where did you go? It was awesome. I went to Istanbul in Turkey. We stayed at a little hotel in the city. Really? What did you do? We went sightseeing every day. I saw some really interesting places. Oh no, I hate sightseeing. What? It's the best thing about holidays. Well, I don't think so. Anyway, what was the weather like? It was fine. There was just one day when it rained and we changed our plans for the day. And what about shopping? Did you buy me a present? Of course I bought you a present. Really? What is it? It's Turkish delight. It's a kind of sweet. Oh, great. I love sweets. Thanks, Callum. Uh, Callum, the box is open. Oh, yes. Sorry, Lottie. But I only ate one, I promise. Track 55. 1. Eight. Two. Bought. Three. Came. Four. Gave. Five. Got. Six. Had. Seven. Rode. Eight. Saw. Nine. Swam. Ten. Took. Eleven. Went. Track 56. Crossing the world on a rickshaw to see the Olympics. When Chen Guanming was a young man, he never travelled far from his farm in a small village in China. But now he is famous for following the Olympic Games around the world in his three-wheeled rickshaw. The story began in 2001 when he heard that the Games were coming to Beijing. He left his village and cycled 90,000 kilometres all over China visiting 1,764 cities before finally arriving at the famous Bird's Nest Stadium. Then he decided to travel to London for the 2012 Olympics. In 2010, he packed his things into his rickshaw and began his journey. He slept in his rickshaw and sometimes worked for food and money. Finally, 
he got to France and caught a ferry to Britain. He only travels by boat or plane when there's no other choice. When he arrived in London, he met lots of tourists and told them his story. Some people didn't believe him. Then he showed them the stamps in his passport and the photos of himself at places like the Eiffel Tower in Paris and the Petronas Towers in Kuala Lumpur. After the London Olympics, Chen left his rickshaw in the UK and caught a flight home to plan his next trip to the Rio Olympics. In 2013, he flew back to London. He put his rickshaw on a ship to Canada and he took a plane there. A friend paid for his flight ticket. Then he got on his rickshaw and rode to Brazil through the US, Mexico and Central America. The journey took three years. He had an amazing time in Rio and made lots more friends. Track 57 A Map B Guidebook C Passport D Ferry E Coach F Airport G Ticket H Station I Suitcase J Tourist K Flight L Tour Guide Track 58 Met Slept Caught Bought Plane Station Flew Group Coach Phone Map Catch Journey Work Passport Car Track 59 This happened six months ago. I went to Scotland for a holiday with my family. We went to a small island and it took a very long time to get there. We left home in the evening and took a taxi to the train station. First we bought a ticket, then we got on the train. It was a special train with beds and we slept really well. Anyway, we arrived in Scotland in the morning. We had some breakfast and then we got on a coach. I sat next to my brother. He ate sweets and listened to loud music all the way. When we got off the coach, we got onto a boat. I enjoyed it, but my brother didn't feel very well. Mum said it was because of all the sweets. Then, when we arrived at the island, we caught a bus to our hotel. <laughs> it's funny, we now know there's an airport on the island and you can fly there. Next time we'll do that.